Hey everybody, Super Mega Whistle here, bringing you a Becker Low F Whistle. Sorry for the uh, close-up on the video here. I'm recording from the driver's seat of my trusty Mini Cooper, Alistair. That's his name. Um, the reason being because my kids are asleep inside. My wife told me that if I woke them up with a whistle, she'd kill me. Uh, so uh, to preserve my life, I decided to go play in the car. Hopefully the neighbors don't mind, but who cares if they do? Anyway, Becker Low F. You heard it there just a little bit. Probably won't play it much anymore. They, these whistles really like to be warm when you play them. And so um, it's a little chilly out tonight. And so this, this whistle is going to cool off pretty quickly. But let me do the uh, top down on this one. Radius Winway. Okay. Delrin Fipple Block. You can see the uh, V-shaped windway there. Supposed to speed the air across the sound blade. Just a hand uh, done sound blade. Radius as well. The Becker sticker there with the F key designation. Cool thing about this whistle is um, to change keys, all you have to do is erase that and write in a different key. And you've got a whistle in a different key. So if I want an E flat, I just add a line and a flat sign, and I've got an E flat. So pretty cool feature of these whistles. Um, done up uh, the tone holes there. You can see pretty, pretty clean. I don't know if you can get a good view of them, but I'm trying. Yep, that's better. And then the bore. The bore on this whistle is humongous. Um, could probably drive Alistair into this, or maybe even a bus. Probably not a double decker though. Um, but anyway, these whistles are made out of PVC, so the only downside there is you got to get some PVC oil and uh, keep them well oiled so they don't crack in uh, weather changes. And uh, just kidding, if you're new to whistles, don't go Google search PVC oil. Just kidding, there's no such thing. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, so what do I like about the whistle? Well, what do I like about all these Becker whistles is the um, the cost. They're extremely inexpensive. I don't go into exact cost details on the uh, on the review uh, channel here um, because people change prices and that's their business. But uh, just to let you know, they are very very economically priced. Uh, so if you're looking to add a whistle of any key to your uh, to your arsenal um, and you're not too terribly exacting on uh, you know the particulars of the whistle, then this is a good uh, a good uh, whistle for you. Um, it's not tunable, but I will say about this whistle um, and all the Beckers that I've played so far, they do seem to be well in tune to themselves and in tune against um, a meter uh, at uh, standard uh, A440 tuning. So uh, with that, um, I think uh, you know it, it's pretty well in tune with itself, uh, especially once you get it warmed up. Um, other things about the whistle here, uh, I'm getting used to the fingering. Um, I'm I'm trying something different today. I'm trying to slide. I, I tend to play um, pretty pretty far onto my fingers. I'm trying to slide back a little bit um, for a couple of reasons, but one of which I can get used to this whistle. Um, one thing that I'm finding about this whistle is uh, one, the bottom one and two holes here are very close together, so my fingers touch when I play. Nothing uh, nothing that I can't get used to. Oops. Nothing I can't get used to there, but I am getting used to that. And then I feel like the radius of the whistle, just because it's so big, so um, wide, that um, if I don't curve my fingers a good amount, I don't get a good seal. And while I can still sound a pitch, uh, it, it's just a little bit um, off until I readjust and get a better seal. And I don't think that's a whistle issue. I think that's a me issue. Just gotta get used to the whistle and, and maybe, um, and maybe that's just going to take some more time. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, inexpensive F whistle. Um, how does it play? You heard a, a sound clip of it there just now. Um, I think it plays fairly well, especially given the price. Um, I, I will say between this and the Becker High D that I've already done a review on, I like the D overall as a whistle uh, better, if that makes sense. Uh, so I know that's not comparing apples to apples, but... Um, if I had to, you know, choose my favorite of the line so far, the high D is it. Now I haven't experienced any other Beckers, and I've got some others that I want to order soon. Uh, a couple of altos, maybe a GA, maybe a B flat. I don't know, um, but we'll see. Anyway, um, but as far as the whistle goes, uh, for a low F, just to um, play, maybe play with uh, some quieter instruments, it's okay. Uh, it seems pretty good. Um, doesn't, uh, not overly loud. Got a fair amount of chiff in the sound. I will say that I was kind of expecting the whistle to be slightly more air efficient. Um, it doesn't have a lot of back pressure and I feel like I run out of air with this whistle fairly quickly and I try to manage my breath, my breath pretty well. Um, but uh, I, I did a review of the Sasato Low D and if you know anything about Sasato whistles, um, and I've got some more, and I find it in the whole line, that they take a lot of air, especially in the upper register, and it's really easy to fall back down the octave to the lower register on the Sasados. 
Um, the interesting thing about this whistle is it it's easy to get up into the upper register with this and stay there, but it takes maybe more air than the Sasato, which I wasn't expecting. So these whistles are kind of air hogs, um, at least the low ones are. Um, but uh, yeah, so you know, so uh, for a, a fun F whistle, Uh, low F whistle just for the fun of playing um, and, and maybe playing in sort of a smaller, quieter group. Um, you know, for the price, I don't think you can go wrong on it. So, hey, next I'm going to do the E flat whistle. Um, I've just got to erase this here and write an E flat there. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually right here. I've got it sitting over here on the seat warmer to warm up. I'm not going to do as in-depth a review because it's essentially the same whistle. It's just longer with different finger spacing uh, to accommodate for the E flat pitch. Um, but uh, I will do a quick overview of that one um, and get that up as well. So, at any rate, um, the Becker low F whistle. Uh, got a couple of new things coming. Got uh, a flute, a transverse flute um, in the making. And um, at least I think that's what it's called. Um, that's actually being made right now. Really excited to get that. And uh, I know this is the Super Mega Whistle channel, but I uh, ordered a flute and I'm really excited to show it to you um, because I couldn't find anything online about these flutes. Um, but it came highly recommended. So once I get it, I'll get used to it and maybe play a little bit for you and uh, do a quick review of it. So anyway, happy whistling, everybody. Have a great night.